Okay, so this is our real thoughts with the release of a particular game this week on Pokemon the first movie. I'm so excited to talk about this because everyone thinks I really hate Pokemon and I don't really, I don't really hate it. It's not like, you know, there's things I legitimately hate. It just suddenly turned into like a thing online and then all the fans got so insulted that I make fun of Pokemon all ah! like, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have fun oh, with this. Oh, 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 honestly, we were gonna do something else before this, but then you said someone's asking us to do Pokemon the first movie. I'm like, ooh, ooh, yes, let's do it. I got a few requests, like online. People were like, yeah, because oh, with, with the game Go coming out, out, what are your thoughts on like my favorites? And people are like, what do you think of the new Pokemon game? I'm like, what, what? What the hell would I have to say? Yeah. I'm not playing it. <laughs> what? Even people that love this stuff, what the hell can you say about this thing? It's like, take, it's like say, find a picture of a leaf. You go out in trees, there's a leaf, there's a leaf, there's a... <laughs> when I heard it, somebody described like, because I said, what is Pokemon Go? And this thing is everywhere. And it's like, oh, oh you just God. go around on your phone and uh, find these random little stickers and you take a picture of it and you collect them. I'm like... Th that can't be it. There has to be more. And it's like no. Remember that's really what my reply it. was though, because it was I believe it was Tamara telling you that uh, we were all at a convention recently and we were staying in one suite and everyone was talking about this game and uh, and she or, or Malcolm I think they both were describing it. And you just looked at them with this blank stare. Just that's it. <laughs> I was just like spoken like a true asshole who never liked Pokemon. <laughs> And, and I don't like Pokemon, but I never hated it. And from a marketing standpoint, it's get, fucking ingenious. I, I, it's one of the most ingenious ideas I, in I get the game. Like, I I get the idea behind it, and I'm like... Kind of like a scavenger hunt. Uh, yeah, like, that's that's fine. I mean, I get it. Um, I'm not going to play it. But, 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 okay, even for, like, this sounds like something, like, Disney would throw out, like, in its spare time. Like, you know, ooh, find Cinderella's mice or something like that. Ooh, there, and just put it in random places. But this is, like, a phenomenon. It's, like, huge. <laughs> and This is literally what Nintendo has been doing for 20 years. Just Pokemon, yeah, and Mario I, I, I don't know why games. you're surprised. Though. Like, it was, like, something Disney would... S Throw out its spare no, time. No, 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 but like, nobody would care. Welcome to Nintendo's entire master no, plan. No, nobody would care if Disney... It'd be like a little game for kids that might get a few bucks of profit for them or something like that. But this is just like all these phone companies now are like, you know, hey, you want to play Pokemon Go better? Come here, come here. I mean, they're trying to use it because they know it's such a big deal. Well, okay, um, it's inter it's interactive and it's idiot-proof. Hmm. Somebody was like... <laughs> Something <laughs> went like that. It, it, it's interactive, it's pre-branded, and it's idiot-proof. Somebody was posting me just like, that apparently there's some other game that was in development for six years that has five times the number of features and the memes is something like, yes, but it wasn't called Pokemon and therefore more people aren't playing. And I'm like, yes! Pretty much! What are you, stupid? <laughs> of course that's how it works. Like, it, it, it's, it already came pre-branded. Everybody knows what Pokemon is. And somebody's like, but the other game is... It's five times the features. And I'm like, that's why kids won't be playing it. Like, like this, it's idiot proof. That's like when Paranormal Activity came out and people are like, there has never been a movie where you don't see the ghost. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> it's just, it's been done millions of times and so much better, but this one just got really, yeah, really There's popular. a reason this works and it's because, and this has been Nintendo's strategy all along and love or hate Nintendo or their strategy. Uh, for my money, I was kind of done with it after I became an adult. Um, but it's always geared towards families. Mm. You get the families, look at little cute cartoon critters, and you take a picture with your phone, and then you trap it in a bowl, and then make them fight. It's like cock fighting with little cartoons yeah, for families. So, <laughs> it's same thing, honestly, with, uh, with the game, with everything Pokemon. I really don't care. I really say that more because the reaction from you guys are amazing. <laughs> You just take it so personally, and I love it. The never reality, stop. Please never stop. It's it, the reality. It the, brings me much joy. The reality of it is, our our little cousins played Pokemon back yeah. in the late. So we knew like a little 90s, bit about it. Like and I, it was fun to hear them talk about it. It was actually really cute. Like they mm. were so into it. So yeah. The only the only thing that bothered me like legitimately bothered me about Pokemon and it still does is as you said the ingenious marketing behind it where literally the entire concept is gotta catch them all mm. I remember back in the late 90s when I heard that I was like wow they're not even trying to hide it they're literally just saying bye the film was called the first movie <laughs> yeah that that is the 
only thing about Pokemon that legitimately bothers me, where it's just, it's so, it's like they couldn't even bother with the cynicism. Like, they couldn't even put up the pretense. It's just like, fuck Pokemon, buy us. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the only thing that legitimately bothered me about it. But, and it still, to a certain degree, does. Like, years later, I still have never really gotten over that. Just, gotta catch them all! No, you gotta. You gotta. Um, and it's but, in the fucking theme song. Gotta catch them all! But, but okay, we mom. grew up with so. marketing. We grew up with the Ninja yeah. Turtles. Okay, yeah. I mean, and I so wish they had their design, so, their marketing. Yeah, I am you know, not, but I'm not just a saying that the 80s and the early 90s didn't cynically market towards kids. Yeah, or Transformers. I'm just saying they put up the pretense of, you know, they, they tried to at least pretend there was yeah. more truth than that. And with Pokemon, they just fucking gave up. They're like, why are we even pretending? You know what? Just say you gotta get them all or else, buy you know, all. Just say you you're a loser. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, so this movie comes out and honestly, the only reason I reviewed is because everyone wanted me to review it and I straight up admit I know almost nothing about Pokemon so whatsoever. So those of you that asked for him to review it and who hated his review, be careful what you fucking wish for. No, actually, the funny thing is, like, when I first did, because that was, like, I think the first review we did when we got that go with the glasses.com was our first one off of YouTube. So it was a huge hit. <laughs> actually, people loved it. Uh, but that's before the numbers got even as big as yeah. they are now. The actual, uh, the actual verbal re or written reaction, though, was very, uh... It was all over the map. And like that, that, those were my favorites. There was a handful of people who were just like, I wanted him to review this and I'm disappointed that he didn't take the time to watch the series beginning to end to understand <laughs> them. I'm like, Isn't yeah, it still that's, going? That's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's still going. Is it? Um, I, I don't it know. might be. I don't, everything in Japan is still going. <laughs> it never stops. Um, but yeah, so this movie could comes be worse. out. It could be One Piece. So. Well, well, what I hear about it is that, you know, it's for the most part, the dub is pretty close to the original until they get to the end where they throw in this half-assed bullshit message about not fighting, which... Just a, hilarious, because that's what which, the whole No, 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 which A, the Japanese would never do. I mean, they know the hey, cash hey, cow that Let's they not have. bring up the war. No, no, no. Oh, the, okay. The, the, the cash cow, <laughs> you know, that they need to keep fighting. It was a long time ago. They, they, they were would gone never, through a phase. They would never be that stupid, but then B, I guess, you know, Americans are like, or the people dubbing it were just like, well, we... Look, we had a lot of bad stuff with Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles and everybody complaining about violence, so let's put in this anti fighting message at the end that makes no it. sense and clearly didn't work because there's it. still a million Pokemons going out and doing this and I'm a little curious it's what the It's a yellow actual... cartoon rat fighting and like this is what we need to fucking worry about? This country's so fucking stupid sometimes. <laughs> it blows on Power Rangers. It's a bunch of Freaking teenagers in Skittle-colored pajamas no, my, my fighting bad Halloween costumes. Oh, the violence. No, 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 my favorite, my absolute favorite, if you watch the Animaniacs parody of Power Rangers, they do this brilliant satire because they do the little message at the end, what do we learn thing, and he's like, kids, violence is not cool. So the next time you want to jump inside a giant robot and yeah. fight a giant yeah. bug, just say, uh-uh. <laughs> and it was just so, <laughs> such a clever punch in the face to those idiots going like, eh, violence, that's what's warping what our kids. What kills me is we lived through the 80s when ninja-ing became the big in thing and when Ninjas parents, and robots. And when parents everywhere were worried that all of us were going to stab each other with real katana swords. Mm -hmm. You know, it, yeah, it was ninjas and robots, and we survived that just fine. Except in Britain, where I found out from a friend that apparently ninja-ing was outlawed or something. Yeah, apparently, right. they had an influx of ninjas. It was Teenage Mutant yeah, Hero Turtles. Probably during World War II. <laughs> and, like, after, yeah, so this is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Hero Turtles, and I'm like, this is why Brexit happens. <laughs> like, <I> just, <laughs> so, so this bullshit ending is thrown in, but the rest is apparently with one or two, you know, lines that obviously would not be in Japan, you know, oh, there's still Vikings around there, mostly in Minnesota, har har. Um, oh, that's but, awesome, they know what Minnesota Vikings are in <laughs> Tokyo. <laughs> so, uh, so this, th this movie plays that clearly is just a part 29X of their story. Uh, you know, because we have no idea what Mewtwo is or Mew, we just know it's a big deal in this universe. And we just, 
We watched this film. It's, That's all I got out is Mew is a big effing deal, but just yeah. kind of. I, Mew. Just, <laughs> I actually got more of it out of uh, out of the Smash Brothers game. I was actually like, Whoa, I know. You two. Actually, badass. the funny thing is, I knew the, what base knowledge I needed to know about Pokemon. I picked up from the Smash Brothers yeah. game before we ever saw the fucking movie. Like, oh, there's Mew too. Okay, it's like I know that character. So yeah, and what I saw because I remember being advertised, so I was kind of like, well, okay, maybe this will kind of help explain what these things are, where they come from, it's it, nothing. It just drops you right in the middle, and it's just like, go! And that's clearly the kind of movie it is. It's made for the kids that grew up with the show, and if you like the show, you'll probably like the movie fine. Though I hear even fans were kind of talking about that ending like, I I just don't get that. I mean, it's like, I know the message, but how does any of this make <laughs> I've sense? I've been fighting these characters all my life! My life is alive! Yeah, it's I'm very much sorry, like saying, Pokemon. It's kind of like saying if you were like playing with Ghostbusters as a kid, suddenly being like, you know what? They're, they're dead. Don't capture the ghosts. No, they're dead. You yeah. should let them rest in peace and let them figure out their way. It's like, it's called Ghostbusters! <laughs> what were we Bear, I think I think we should release all the ghosts. Just get them in a program, a rehab center. Why can't they know? heal? Why can't we just talk and heal? You know, it's I, like suddenly realizing all this stuff you've been doing is bullshit, but then be like, eh, you know what? Next episode, they go back to busting ghosts again. And it's like, it makes no this sense. This is why our country is stupid. This is how we end up with Trump. This is our... <laughs> But the funny God. thing is, we still have to... Just let me have some violence. We have to give this movie a little bit of credit that it at least didn't do the Digimon movie thing where they just took parts from other Digimon movies, like from three different movies, and just threw it together as just like... Movie and like none of it connects. Like we think oh, Pokemon doesn't fucking, explain uh, much. What, this what doesn't that, yeah, that didn't explain a thing. Was it, Robo was it Robotech that did that back in the day? Yeah. So, so we have to say well done, Pokemon, for was, at least yeah. having a somewhat coherent story. You have to watch this bajillion other shows to get it, but at least there's a beginning, middle, well, and or end. in the case of the the original uh, Nosca Valley of the Wind, which they changed to something like The Wind Warriors and released in the early '80s, and Miyazaki never wanted to release a fucking film here since then because of that it took John Lasseter like I don't know getting him drunk on a game of sake <laughs> and a, a picture with him and an octopus or something like that before he's like all right I'll release more like it so yeah just just release the damn thing I mean unless unless like Pokemon was really like chock full of hentai or something I don't really know what the big deal would be. Do you remember either... And I, I'm sure there's a Pokemon hentai that exists, and I'm sure Brad Jones has found it, so... From the show and the movie, I, again, having seen very little of it, like, actually sat down and watched it, is there anything that you actually remember? Like, oh, that no. was kind of neat, or that's kind of fun, or that... I mean, like... No. The only thing I can remember... I remember the bad guys... I like the idea behind the bad guys, even though they almost never made me laugh, but sort of their voices were a little funny. I, I like the... I like the woman who sounds like this. I like the guy who sounds like this. And I like that little cat guy. It's like, if I was a kid, I would like that. I would like those three. Um, everything else just seems like very uh, bland, generic, not very I don't... I literally do not remember... A goddamn thing. <laughs> I remember. I remember the intro was very exposition heavy, to the point that I'm just like, why did they even bother? They could have just because any kid who's gonna see this movie probably would have been watching the show. You could have just dumped them into it because the parents don't give a shit. I didn't give a shit. Yeah. Like I was like, you know, just just tell your damn story. I don't need. It was like. But then this other then something happened, and then that would be happened. Oh, like I was just like, shut up, just get on with it. Um, it I, I remember. I remember there was like Pikachu took a good beating, and that was from very, himself. Yeah, that was very cathartic for me. Um, the tears of the Pokemon bringing back the boy. That was pretty funny. I mean, just oh, talking God. about half ass like a fairy tale just shits something out, and then the fumes went into some guy's nose, and he got this idea. Uh, his tears after he sent this thing to its near death. How many times? <laughs> like. Ew. No, no, it's the other way around. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Like, Pikachu should be like, you know, I'm glad he's fucking dead. You know, he keeps me in a ball, and then, like, he's, he has me fighting myself and stuff. I, I'm it, not even allowed to talk. I can abusive. just go, Pika, Pika. I'm glad he's stoned. I'm yeah. glad he's stoned. Somebody drank the Kool-Aid or a Stockholm Syndrome. I think this is a very abusive relationship when you get down to it. But, you know, it seems to work for them. They put the fun back in dysfunction. <laughs> 
And there's something about, again, just from a, and I think this is because I grew up with, like, those marketing shows. Like, I like whenever a Pokemon is released and it says its name. A, again, it's a genius hammering in the name, but on Gotta top of it. No, and I realized I was a sucker for that because when the Transformers movie came out, the Michael Bay one, and when Megatron comes out, what's the first thing he says? I am Megatron. Now, that makes no sense. Why would he say that? But... I kind of got a chill because I'm like, ooh, that's just like the cartoon. Like he said that sometimes, and it's like there's something stupid <laughs> and the manipulative that I, 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 I am Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's something, and then your heart sank. There's something so dumb and manipulative about that that I kind of get this childhood, like you know, just eating. It's pure junk food, but sometimes junk food's okay. Sometimes candy's okay, no. and that I, really is what okay, Pokemon that, is. That's I why think I it's don't, fine, yeah, dumb that's little why candy. I don't I don't judge it. Um, you know, I mean, I joke. My, my friends and I have a saying we do an anime night weekly and friends don't let friends watch DBZ. But, you know, the thing is, there's plenty of people who like DBZ and love it. And I I don't judge it. It's just not my thing. And Pokemon was not my thing. I was too old when it I came. Love, I was in college when it started. I love the voice cast of DBZ. And that's not because I'm friends with most of them. That is a complete oh, lie. No, it is voice... only because I'm friends with most no, of I, them. No, I like the, I like the voice cast, too. Um, I'm just... The, the show, that type of show doesn't really grab me. And yeah. Pokemon, as a type of anime that I even watched as a kid probably wouldn't have grabbed me, I don't think, even if I was the right age. It probably would have grabbed me. I, I, it, I might have, it might have grabbed me. Dragon just, Ball wouldn't have, but no. It might have grabbed like me just creatures. so I could survive school, because I get a feeling <laughs> I would have had to have known what the no, hell this was. I, I like thing with cre things with creative creatures, and there's nothing but these weird, strange-looking creatures, and you're supposed to catch them. I would actually love this as a kid. Honestly. I get that, you know what? I and get and the, they're fighting and stuff, I get and the it's the a distinct, game. distinct, distinct fucking impression. I would have been busy trying to just create my own new Pokemon. <laughs> like well, drawing I'm sure you new can. Pokemon. I mean, is that, that's then, gotta then be a even thing. Bothering with. If not, I think we have a sequel to Pokemon Go that we can make. Because <laughs> that's gotta be a thing. Creating your own Pokemon. Right. That'd be insane if they didn't think of that yet. I um, will. Say, I will say this though. Booking a con right after the release of that game. Oh, oh that was. <laughs> Everybody was coming. Was did you play Pokemon Go? Did you play Pokemon Go? Did you play Pokemon Go? Oh wait, hold still. There's a Pikachu in your goatee. Oh, the, oh look, there's a Bulbasaur in Jarvis Davis' sandwich. You guys wait here. I'll get your autograph later. I'll be right back. Hey, John! <laughs> <laughs> Don't move. Yeah, there's apparently quite a few squirrels or some shit on us when people are looking at us in line. The Bulbasaur is in my pants. <laughs> 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 so um yeah it this movie clearly we're not a fan of but it's it is one of those times where you just had to acknowledge quite clearly it's not made for us uh you know this is junk food it's pure junk food it, it's you know yeah. badly made candy for kids but we grew up with junk food we grew up with badly made candy and we totally get it uh we make fun we're of just... it because we're adults and it's so easy to make fun of and the reaction from you guys is beautiful they're beautiful reactions never stop with them uh but in terms of our real thoughts on that's yeah. what's called real thoughts we really don't give a shit if you like it oh great you know and i'll be totally honest fine. like one thing that did kind of bug me a bit about the film is just you look at that versus something like, strangely enough, like the Chipmunk Adventure. I was like, I honestly thought the animation on Pokemon, even by anime standards, was kind of weak. Yeah, it's. Um, yeah, no, it, it's pretty. And cheap. I'm like, if you're gonna do a movie, like I would have wanted something more. And I know, and you know, so there's somebody tried to tell me it's like, well, you know, a anime has a lower frame rate. Uh, you know, and they're they're more. Focused I've seen on some stills. Oh no no, and, yeah, and they're, they're more those. focused on 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 stills, and it's no, not as heavy no. on the fluid. And I'm like, well, first they're talking to me like I had never seen an anime. Yeah, first of all, he has Which, an anime night. I was just staring. Wednesday. I was just staring at this guy like, and I'm just like, listen, I have seen a fuck ton of anime films. I've seen a fuck ton of anime, you know, television shows, you know, well into like what 250 now maybe by my count. Mm. Um, I, I'm sorry. It's not that great animation. I've seen worse, but it, it didn't look, you know, I, I, I don't we've know. We've seen I, animes that have very simple styles, but are still very artistic. Yeah, and there was nothing that really grabbed me about that. So even on a visual level, I was like, really? Like, I, I know it's weird to say this, but I expected more from Pokemon. <laughs> like, I was hoping, like, I'm like, okay, you get these... Well, Frickin' critters fighting. 
I and want it to my, look really cool, and I just kind of felt like, oh, that's my thought. Happened. My thought, in all honesty, is because because we saw something similar with Ninja Turtles. You know, that show was, and the toys and everything were just huge, gigantic. Oh, I mean, I'm you, sure it was you clear? No, 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 no. Yeah, you couldn't get enough. It the supply and demand was so insane that they're just like push them out as fast as you can. Yeah. We're just we're not getting enough. And I'm sure with Pokemon it's the same thing. Like with the movie, everyone's just demanding a yeah. movie. It's like get it out as fast as you can. So I get it, but. Hey, look the, the idea of saying, Ninja like, this is good animation. They did the... No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, but you look at the recent Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies when they did the reboots, though. Like, I was like, okay. Well, no, the, 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 is... no, the movies are different. Yeah, at least uh, this is pretty. Like... No, I think for film, for some reason in America, when we do films, we really want them to be, like, we really do want to step them up. And I'm sure, like, Pokemon, the first movie, like, had a little bit better animation, you know, compared to the show. But it's still essentially kind of the same. There's nothing wowing in it, you know, and it's, like I said, we watched the Chipmunk Adventure again, we're just like, why is this animation so phenomenal? We have no idea, but it's incredible. It's incredible animation. Uh, and the Transform Transformers the movie, you know, the anime one. Phenomenal yeah. animation. Uh, you know, so it's one of those things, like, and with the Ninja Turtles, same thing. Like, when we do a film, we really want to throw a lot of money at it. And I think there is something to, at least what I've seen with, like, uh, the Pokemon movie and... Actually, the Digi those three Digimon movies, you know, I think if they just let them play on their own, you know, actually the animation would have been decent. It probably would have been okay. Um, you know, especially by the time it came out. But yeah, I think with that Pokemon movie, it's just like, get it out as fast as you can. We just, we can't contain this. We just can't. It's well, so and that's what, Okay, that's what bothers me. Like, legitimately, but when we talk about real thoughts, that's what legitimately bothers me about the film is the cheapness of it. Like, I, uh, what do you, what, the, I mean, what the fuck do we say about the plot? Okay, we made fun of the fact that they, the American version has them making up or whatever at the end, but really what comes out of the plot, it's like, I can't see, like, the fucking chipmunk movie, this is like diamond smuggling, it makes oh, no yeah, so sense. stupid. <laughs> you know, half the things we saw as kids make no sense, so I'm not going to sit here and rip apart the plot and it's like, oh, so illogical. Mm -hmm. Pokemon fans can. Now, if you hate the movie... On its own level as a Pokemon fan. Yeah, you've feel, earned that. Yeah, feel free to speak up. Like, I couldn't tell you if this is a good plot or not yeah, by Pokemon standards. By Pokemon standards. standards, yeah. You know, so I can't make fun of that, but I can say, I'm just like, when I look at something and it feels cheap, I do feel that's a bit of a ripoff. Because I'm just like, this is such a huge, this was such a huge phenomenon that I'm like, well, at least you should get, like, something out of it. Like, if I were an adult, I'd be like, well, like, I am an animation fan. I see animated films as an adult, and if I somehow got stuck taking, like, you know, my niece or nephew to so, that. like, Norm of the North or something yeah, like that. Be I like, would, okay, be, I'm a little pissed yeah, off. Yeah, I'd be kind of pissed off. Like, you know, I wasn't expecting to know what the hell's going on here, but I thought it would be a little better looking than this. Like, so, yeah, that's that's my gripe with the Yeah, movie, so, I, I mean, we, we clearly don't like it. It's not made for us. Um, and, and we understand the need for junk food. Uh, you know, a spoonful of sugar, all that nonsense. Now, Pokemon Go. Classic. Clearly right. classic game that will... Actually, I will say this. Actually, I was gonna say it may change the course of, you know, our lives, but for some, it might. It's already kind of getting people in accidents and shit. It's finding dead bodies. <laughs> like, it actually... I will it, say, I will say this. It is a, it is a double-edged sword, but the one thing I, I do like about, like, I'm, I'm, people want to play it. Go nuts. Like, I'm not judging anybody who plays it. Like, what I, actually, what I really like about it is that kids who normally would be inside going playing outside. a fucking video game are actually going outside I, I like that in the sun the day globe which burns the skin but gives you precious vitamin D I, I have no idea how much like you know energy it takes just to point your phone like this but you're right they are going outside you they have to travel walk, though. they they start to see the world through their phone and that's stupid but they're still seeing the world somehow they're well, going outside that's the thing it's it's a trick to get you to actually look at the world only you're doing it through your maybe phone maybe the creator of pokemon is like what have i done <laughs> just they're all staying inside just playing this stupid game and watching our stupid shows and they've forgotten what the day ball looks like so maybe i can create something that can have them go outside but they're still on a screen technically but we're tricking them into going outside yeah i maybe maybe this is like in a strange way kind of the most brilliant thing ever made it's like harry potter tricking kids into reading maybe this is tricking kids to going outside that part of it i like because i i do think we become kind of a vegetable nation oh yeah that ironically doesn't eat vegetables <laughs> <laughs> um so i it, 
I'm I'm all for that. Like, there's some librarians who are saying, like, I don't know how the game works, but I guess they're, like, setting some Pokemon up in the library, and then they're just like, Clever? hey, when kids come in, like, with the Pokemon thing, like, there are literally some libraries are, like, putting together, like, dossiers on the game so that yeah. you can talk to kids about it and get them to stay in the library longer. Oh, that's <laughs> kind of smart, yeah. There's something kind of creepy. Hey, kids. I've got books. But they're trying to... No, I know. They're trying like to trick that. you with education. Yeah. You know what? Good for them. Good but for them. But of course, it is the dark side. Hey, kids. I've got Pokemon. <laughs> Get your fat ass back here, so, piggly son of a bitch. Call me. <laughs> so, but no, that's a good example. Yeah. I like that people are and utilizing this. And on the dark story. side, there's now already stories about, yeah, like some idiot walks into the middle of the street, gets hit by a bus. Um, but you're an adult! You know what? They're I, adults! You know what? And I, I'm not gonna lie, I call that natural selection. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, that is something where it's like, you know, I feel little like in kid, any generation, like... the idiots would get weeded out somehow. Like, even in, in medieval times, there was some moron who walked in front of the horse, you know, because he, he was, you know, playing, I don't know, Stone the Witch or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> on his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Stone anyway, <laughs> but uh, but and then like some some people have been reporting that it's getting a little too hyper competitive. Mm. Yeah, like totally. uh, like again, people, probably yeah. among the adults. But uh... oh, I have I have no doubt. Like when I see that, I'm like, watch that is some twenty like twenty year old asshole fanboy. It's always the case. So I can't have nice things. It's like geeks. <laughs> it's so funny. We spend decades trying to get out from under the oppression of like jocks and shit. And now we're our own worst fucking enemy. Yeah, like, we're fucking much. beat each other up over fucking Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's a vicious circle. Really makes you. Think, I was gonna you know? say it's the first. Day. Well, our uh, line I always like is uh, the internet, the only place where geeks and losers can be bullies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's some cowards. truth to that. It's like, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so that's you get it with the movie. I mean, it's it's not our movie. It's not for us. If it's your thing, I really mean that. We don't hate Great. it. I don't think it's the worst. I didn't think I it caused violence among anybody. Oh, uh, God, you no. know. If, was... if anything, again, it's kind of like Ghostbusters, where it's like you're kind of chasing things and stuff. If anything, it's yeah. almost decreasing violence. Even back in the day at its height, when I just hated Pokemon because it had oversaturated everything and was everywhere, my health things don't change. <laughs> um... It, even then, when parents were coming up with that argument, like, oh, this encourage violence, I, I sat there as, like, a 20-year-old and was just like, are you fucking kidding me? I was Ooh. like, shut the hell up. Yeah, whoever pretends they're the Pokemon, they pretend they're the kid with the ball throwing the Pokemon. Oh, look at that, look at that. Again, that, that's why a lot of adults like, uh, a lot of parents okay. like Ghostbusters, because you're pretending to chase ghosts. You're yeah. not going against each other. You're not well, fighting each other. Okay, and let's, let's get something straight here. In the few minutes that we have left. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever seen puppies playing, or, or, or cats, or dogs, or whatever? Rough housing is just a natural part of life. Well, it's because they have played seen... violent video games. Yeah, it's because they watched <laughs> Pokemon, obviously. Like, that is just part of fun, is wrestling, and, and playing, and pretending you're a Ghostbuster, or Pokemon, or a Ninja Turtle, and, and just, you know, flinging around some cheap plastic sword, or whatever, and just... That's just gonna happen. People were doing it with sticks in the Middle Ages. <laughs> I'm sure they blame, you know, back then you could blame the violent Bible. <laughs> oh, it's all biblical. Blame the Bible for that one. Yeah. <laughs> so just fuck that noise. <laughs> really <laughs> angry today. <laughs> Pokemon brings that out in us. Uh, so yeah, that's our thoughts. Um, <laughs> like I said, not. not both a ton and not a ton that we have to say about it, but uh, yeah, if you got the game, enjoy it. Please be safe. <laughs> Do be safe with it, yeah. but uh, go outside, please. Enjoy the sun. Um, that's about it, and uh, we'll just see you in the next one. Bye. You need me. I need you. Pikachu. That's how it goes, right? Pokemon.